Alright, just a little video, just gonna relay some of my thoughts. So, I like to go out. I like to enjoy myself, I like to uh, get my dance on, drink a little bit, get work up my courage, of course, and talk to some girls. You know, usual routine. But it's to have fun, to enjoy myself. You know, I've noticed a lot lately that there are a lot of guys that like to wear these mixed martial arts shirts or these tap out shirts which is cool fine and dandy I think is awesome I watch the UFC I like to see some mixed martial arts as well but sometimes it just takes a little group of people a small fraction of this group to mess up the night for a lot of people and what I'm saying is yes when I go out, you hear a lot of guys talk about, oh, I'm in mixed art, martial arts, uh, I started fighting under this guy and this guy, which, you know, maybe a lot of them do, but it's the fake ones that start all the trouble. That small, fake group that just want to put on a shirt, look hardcore, mean mug everybody, you know, with their couple of friends or two friends that's with them. They just want to mean mug, they want to look hard, rather than having a couple of drinks, or, or, or talking to the girls. I mean, they're just looking for a fight. They're just looking for that one person to look at them the wrong way, and they're on them. They want to mean mug that particular person all, all night. Right? They, they just want to start stuff, and it ruins everything for the other people. It just makes the other actual fighters who have a clean mindset, they're not looking for trouble. They just want to have a good time. It ruins them, and it just puts them all in a negative group. It just irritates me that, you know, people who are not actually associated with your organizations or your, 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 or your, your fighting style or your group or whatever, who are imitators, put on these shirts, this crap, and look for trouble for no particular reason whatsoever. I, I just don't understand why somebody would seriously take the time to put on their pants and tie their shoes and put on their tap out shirt to make himself feel like they're hardcore but never actually trained in their life to go out and start some shit. It's pointless. And you know, well generally that's just my thoughts on that man. Look, a lot of these mixed martial artists, a lot of them are really cool guys. Just try your best to pay no attention to those fake wannabes who start trouble and usually get beat up. But if they do beat somebody up, they usually have like, I don't know, five guys on one person. So far, I've been able to avoid that stuff for whatever reason. I guess I'm just cool like that because I just get in the crowd, I mingle, and I pay no heed to anybody that's looking for trouble. You know, pretty hardcore dude myself. <laughs> but anyway, nah, I don't look for trouble. I'm the good guy. Now, another thing, in this area of Charleston, West Virginia, where I live at, another Thing, another slight phenomenon maybe you noticed it in your cities or maybe it's been going on a lot of the bums hobos or just people who live on the street have kind of slightly organized themselves a little bit they became a little group they stick together they're constantly looking over each other's shoulder to see who they can steal from but anyway now they kind of get in these groups of people and they try to intimidate you into giving you giving out them money. Yeah, they, they really kind of surround some people, elderly people, or just like a young couple, people they know they can really intimidate and try to beg for money in a very aggressive manner. I mean, it's got to points where uh, they actually stab somebody, uh, they rob somebody before, like took somebody's wallet mugging people they really do it in, in groups and not only do these bums hobos or whatever stick together they actually find these uh adolescent kids like 15 16 you know you know, even 17 they find this young section of uh, uh, uh of kids this type of group that are like kind of like almost like runaways some type of weird dark grungy misfit and they stick with these these kids hang with them and they participate in some of these acts maybe they give the bum guys uh, a little money to get them alcohol to, to 
buy it for them. I don't know what's going on, but they became some type of weird click. But anyway, the police had to crack down on that shit because it got way out of hand. There was just too much shit going on and it was bad around here. So thank goodness for that because it was getting to the point where, you know, I might have to punch somebody in the face, you know, or DDT somebody because, you know, they were real aggressive. I mean, I had a guy the other day begging me, man, could you give me some money, please, please, please. I've been mean, like, like that, just, just pouring his heart out to me with his girlfriend right there beside him and, a, and his buddy. And it's just like, well, what the hell is wrong with you? It's strange how, uh, what was it, like eight days ago, I seen a guy sitting down on the uh, freaking concrete Indian style pissing on himself. Yeah, pissing on himself, just pouring out pants, up, little pecker is hanging out, pissing off, basically pissing on himself too, just in a puddle. It's like, what the, I mean, do you have no shame? Do you not have any pride? It was like, are you serious with these groups of kids and pedestrians walking by? This guy's looking like a, a I don't know, a, a, a hobo monk pissing on himself. It was sad. But anyway, I'm rambling. Anyway, just like to hear your thoughts on this stuff. Have you experienced any of this stuff? And, you know, I'm out of here. Peace.